guys, Squirt here, and I am back for more Let's Play Terraria, the Ranger playthrough, episode 33. Um, so, I just gave up on making an arena, because I suck at building arenas. So what I did, because this is essentially what it was going to be anyways, it was above this large platform I have, I put a huge line of mud, up, like, above it. Now, you need that. <laughs> you need something to hide underneath during the boss the final boss. But we're not going to be fighting the final boss today, we're going to be going to the Stardust Pillar to kill that one. I'm going to drink the cooked fish. But uh, yeah, the Stardust Pillar gets absolutely destroyed by the Vortex Beater, apparently. Um, now, the Flow Invaders are the most dangerous enemy in this, and there are a lot of them, are they? There he is. Because they shoot sharks at you. Oh, uh, also, kill stargazers. So the gimmick in this is to stay in the air, that way the twinkle poppers won't be able to hit you. Uh, now these stardust cells, when you kill them, break into smaller ones that will eventually regenerate. So, uh, yeah, keep that in mind. They will eventually regenerate. <laughs> so, nothing in this pillar is going to be used for us, except for the fragments, of course, but... That's only because with the fragments, not only can we make better potions, but we can make uh, some uh, better, uh, you know, what's it called? I cannot hear the music. This gun is too loud. <laughs> yeah, but the reason I'm using this gun now is because it is good. And at this point, you stop. Ah! <laughs> I am almost dead. Yeah, it's important to kill stargazers, because they sort of shoot lasers at you. Um, I apologize to everyone's ears for this. <laughs> this is, like, hurting my ears, and I'm the one playing the game. Uh, the rockets that it shoots are homing, by the way. So you don't need to worry about aiming with those, only the actual bullets. Yeah, this this one isn't the easiest, but it takes the least amount of time to do. I want to check to see how far I am on the pillar. I'm actually pretty far, wow. Um, the reason I'm not dying is because I have an insanely good weapon. Ow! I say that, and then I get hit by a flow invader. Please, 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 thank you. Okay, well, I'm safe to say that I am dead now. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. There's me, the Stardust Pillar is no pushover compared to the rest of them. Everyone says that it's incredibly easy and you should always do it first. No, they are wrong. You should always do this one near the end because it is very difficult. Uh, it's just easy to open up the pillar. It's not easy to deal with the enemies. Except for Stardust Cell Sale. Ow! Dang it. I forgot to heal that time, so... Oh, hi guys! <laughs> What are you doing there? Um... Come on, let me through. Ow! Dang it. Just let me kill you, Stardust Pillar. Jeez, it's not like it matters anymore. There. He's dead. Now I gotta kill all these Stardust Cells, dang it. Otherworldly voices linger around you. Uh, those messages really don't mean anything. Um... <laughs> but anyways, Stardust Pillar obviously will drop Stardust Fragments, and I did not get very many of those. But uh, now, instead of doing the Solar Pillar, we're gonna go mining in the jungle quickly. Because... I could use some more glorified bullets and more life fruit. So 
so yeah Oh look, another banner. That I wasn't able to pick up for some reason. How close is the solar pillar? Very close, okay. It's good that I was able to get down here then. Uh, I'm also gonna grab some, uh, life crystals if I find them, so that I could put up, uh, heart lanterns at my quote-unquote arena. Um, it's not really much of an arena. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I seriously do apologize for anyone listening to this, because this gun is way too loud. Three digit, if you're listening, uh, nerf the noise that the vortex beater makes. Um, yeah. Ow, floaty gross, grossy float, I don't even care. Die, hoplite. Keep doing that. It's this way. <sighs> Trust me, this is probably going to be a lot more interesting in expert mode. And I can do the expert ranger playthrough in a while. But after this, I'll probably not do another Terraria one until I do another Let's Play of sorts. So. Hi, Boulder. How you doing? That was awkward. Um, that's a lot of chlorophyte. Wrong weapon. Yeah, I'll be honest, the solar pillar scares me. Uh, so... Life fruit. Come on. There's one. Yes. I want to try to find another 19 of these. 18 now, because max life in this game is 500. So, yeah. I'm gonna switch these two, because I use the vortex meter more, anyways. But yeah, the other thing we could have made with these fragments, everyone prefers that. It's called a phantasm. It's a bow. Uh, I don't prefer it because, honestly, for me, for a bow that late in the game, it shoots a bit slowly. And I kind of want to check to see what that traveling merchant has. But, uh... I should check the traveling merchant. Hold on, let me mine this floor fight. But, uh, yeah, I don't like it simply because it has too low of a speed for my liking. Uh, you're gonna drop magic dagger? Okay. I did just get a life fruit. Oh, look, buggy. Buggy is a really good source of bait. I kind of used a few of those when I was fishing for those fish that I needed. So... Why, why, why do they make life fruits so hard to find? Play, like, seriously. Even in expert, in expert mode, it's actually more common, I think, because I've gotten life fruits in expert mode. I have, this is my first time getting a life fruit in normal mode. Cause you absolutely need them in expert mode. So where is it? Am I? Dropped. 
Whoa, whoa, what the... Titan Glove? Eh, whatever. I would grab it, but... I wouldn't. I totally wouldn't. This is a Ranger playthrough, not a melee playthrough. If it was a melee playthrough, yeah, I'd totally get it. Because that's really important. Um... Any more life fruits near here? Didn't I get one? Um... Uh, there's one. Yes. Should really have a Spelunker potion for this, but whatever. Oh, there's a life crystal. Those are important. Um... Come on, I... It's been 10 minutes since I started the episode. But, yeah, that Stardust Pillar really didn't take very long. Um, oh look, a Plantera Bulb. Should we? Because we probably could beat her at this point without any like upgrades or anything. Why not? Yeah, this 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 should not be difficult at all. Look look at how fast I'm doing damage there. Uh, in expert mode, at this point, Plantera would still be a bit threatening. This is not expert mode. That was insanely easy. Um. Yep. Now I'm just binning stuff because why do I need any of this crap? Uh, stupid turtle. Um, come on. Uh, there are no life fruits in my jungle. That's a mimic. Can you stop dropping Titan gloves, please? Like. <laughs> Oh, a jungle rose. How about that? Um, I'm gonna keep that just because it's kind of rare. Oh, look, another Plantera bulb. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, look, a life fruit. That was convenient timing. Where is she? Why'd you spawn so far away, Plantera? That's a lot of chlorophyte down there. I don't even need to dodge. I can just sit here and she'll die. That's how good this gun is. Uh, what did we do this with? I think we did it with a... Uh, chlorophyte Shapo? Um... Yeah. So that's that's cool. Uh, and I win. Wasp gun, pygmy staff, another temple key because why not? Not that we can use any more than them. Uh, I'm only doing this to get money, by the way, because uh, I want to reforge all my accessories to warding. What's in this chest? Extractor. We don't actually have an extractor, but meh, it's not like we need it. Basically. So. I really wish this gun wasn't this loud. That's the sucky part about it. And another wasp gun. And I got a trophy, actually. That's pretty neat. Um. No, I don't need another pygmy staff. Uh. life fruit, please. I'll probably be good with the amount of fruit I have. I mean, life I have. Uh, but I just want to see if I can't get more, because any amount helps. I don't need any more crystals at all, so. Man, that is kind of annoying, that anti-grab thing. 
If I ever get too tired of it, I do have a Christmas hook. But, yeah. Whoa! Angry Trapper, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> you been taking racing lessons, or, uh... Or what, kids? <laughs> I don't think we're gonna end up with any more, uh... I do not need any of this crap. Any more... What's it called? Uh... Life fruit. So, I'm going to make some bullets. Thirty? Thirty times seventy to be two thousand one hundred. So... Where's the arms dealer? Oh, he's still on the island, isn't he? Wow, I really do not have any space in my chest. I need 2,100 bullets. So that will be up there. Oh well. And I need 112 in the last stack. Um. Oh yeah, I should check the traveling merchant. Um. Probably be smart. Where is he? Gatligator. Gatligator was one of the things I would probably use if I didn't get the Uzi uh, in one of the early hard mode. Uh, where? I need to go to the anvil. Oh, I deposited the chlorophyte. Of course I did. <laughs> I counted wrong. <laughs> oh well. There we go. That's plenty of bullets. Like That's 3710 bullets. That is a lot. But anyways, <laughs> I'm going to end this episode here cuz the last episode was pretty long. Uh and in the next part... Oh, wait, one more thing. I almost forgot about this. Um... Made my Stardust Fragments. Nebula Fragments and Vortex Fragments. And at the Ancient Manipulator... Come on. If you have one... Three of the ones you don't... Of... If you have three different fragments, you can make one of the fragment that isn't in that set. Uh, I'm going to make four of them. Because, once you do that, I gotta go to the alchemy station. Once you do that, you can upgrade your healing potions to their final stage, which is 200 life. You can also do this with mana potions, but I don't see a point. Um, what? But either way, super healing potions, insanely good. <laughs>
Um. I'm gonna put them away for now. Because I'm not gonna use them until the final boss. But, uh. I'm gonna end the end this episode. And then, off camera, I'm gonna farm in the dungeon a little bit. Because. There's an item I really want to get before I fight the final boss, and that is called the Rifle Scope. <laughs> and the reason I want to get it is because it combines with the Destroyer Emblem, I believe. So yeah, in the next episode, I'll do that. No, I'll be fighting the Solar Pillar and the final boss, because the boss, even though it is the final boss, it won't take as long as the Solar Pillar will. Um, provided I win, of course, which I might not knowing my luck. And if I don't, I have to do the entire lunar event again, which I will not force you to sit through that. So yeah, I'll farm for the rifle scope, and then I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.